Hi, this is A Minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I ask, is it even worth putting your app on the Amazon store? Okay, so a few weeks ago I made a video about us reaching the 3 million download mark on, on our app. So I showed you a graph of the uh, how many apps we get by market. So I showed how many we had from Google Play or from iTunes or Amazon or Samsung. And I also referenced a lot of the smaller markets. Uh, and I was speaking to somebody and he said, uh, you know, I had no idea there were so many different markets out there. And, uh, you know, it, it's strange because most people don't really consider uh, the, um, the, the, the off, the, the, the non-mainstream ones. We think about Google Play, we think about iTunes. I mean, Amazon is a big player, but even then, most people don't seem to publish to that. So, uh, and this week, I kind of want to talk about whether or not it's even worth doing. Now, Amazon's kind of strange because it's so easy to take your build from Google Play and move it to Amazon. That's if you don't include things like uh, links to uh, back to the app to do your ratings. Uh, you have to kind of configure that kind of stuff so it goes back to the same place. Or if you're using Google Play's leaderboards, those, those aren't going to work on on um, uh, on Amazon. Or if you you know have anything within your app that's trying to uh, bring in more engagement through the Google Play ecosystem. Uh, so if you don't have anything like that, it doesn't make any sense not to to push it to Amazon. Now. Having said that, Amazon can be a bit high maintenance. Now, we've had this over and over again where we get an email from Amazon saying, we noticed that Google Play, your version of iSpy on Google Play is 1.22 and on Amazon it's only 1.21 and under the terms and conditions it's going to be the same version. And it's like a, um, it's like a girlfriend who, you know, who's saying that, you, why don't you notice me anymore? And he's like, oh yes, I forgot about Amazon. So you have to publish it there. But it really only takes a few minutes. Uh, one thing you need to think about, like if you have like designers or uh, you, you know things like that is uh, the the file sizes for Amazon are a bit different like the screenshot sizes uh, the text but many times it's really just taking it what you're putting into Google Play and making it applicable to the Amazon market so your app descriptions will be the same the keywords there is a keywords field in Amazon so it's much more like um, iTunes uh, than it is Google Play so you can take those keywords and put those in there uh, and like I said a few weeks ago we don't get very much from Amazon however if you're releasing a free app you kind of want everybody to see it and I use this term a lot you know you're fishing with dynamite right you're not you don't want the right people to see it or you want to say hmm would this really you know don't even think about it you know just take your build and and give it to, to Amazon as well give it to slide it give it to Samsung just try to get it out there as many times as you can uh, and uh, you know you may think whether or not it's worth your time most of the time it takes an additional 20 minutes to push it out to Amazon so it's you know it's the kind of market that because not everybody's pushing to it, it's smaller. And the ideal situation, at least in my view, is that somebody's searching for an algebra-related pro product or a, a you know a language learning product, and in that list of um, of results that they get back from their search, maybe they'll see Mandarin Bubble Bath, or maybe they'll see you know one of our other language games, or maybe they'll see some of our quiz games, and uh, and think, oh, you know, let me give that a try. So, uh, you know, as much exposure as you could get. That's it's one thing about the app market. If you're going to make money with apps, you have to think big scale. You have to think, you know, get as many eyes onto it as you can. Not the right people. Not tell your friends, but as many people as possible. Put it as many places you want. You know, tweet about it all the time, talk about it all the time, and get as many people in. So this week, just saying, is it worth publishing to Amazon? You're not going to get a lot of downloads from it, but yes, it's definitely worth doing. You need to get as much exposure uh, for app development for, for your apps as possible. So this week, I want to tell you about two new apps that, that uh, we released this last week. They're quiz apps like the language games. However, this time they're not language related. So we released the uh, chemistry flash quiz, flash quiz, which is will help you learn, you know, study your chemistry, uh, your periodic table and so forth. And also the Oscars Academy Awards flash quiz, uh, which is something completely different than we've ever done before. It's not really educational, but it's more trivia related. So if you're a movie buff like uh, like we are, then uh, you know you see how well you you know your facts about the Academy Awards and who's won and who's been nominated and things like that. So it's a lot of fun. So that's it for this week's minute of overpass. Oh, I'll, also, both those apps are available on Google Play so far, but within the next couple of weeks they'll be available on iTunes. So depending on when you watch this video. 
you know, have a look. It, you know, they're a lot of fun. So that's it for this week. Uh, now, if you're watching this on the iTunes podcast, please leave a review. I'd love to hear what you say. And if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn, uh, please leave a comment. I'd love to know uh, what you think as well. So that's it. I'll talk to you next week.